What's up, everyone? I hope you're all having a good day wherever you're watching this. Um, this video I just wanted to make just to, it's going to be a video that is mostly my opinion. So if you guys have a different opinion, which I'm sure some of you will, which is a good thing, it'd be boring if everyone had the same opinion, uh, let me know. But uh, like I said, you might not agree with everything I say, and that is completely okay. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the next gen, so the current gen of a NASCAR Cup Series car that we've had since uh, about a year and a half now. I just wanted to give you my take on the good and the bad of it. So why don't we start with the good? The good, uh, for me personally, I like the way they look. I like the way each manufacturer looks. Um, I. I'm indifferent with the number placement. It really doesn't bother me as much it, as it bothers some people. Obviously, I would probably prefer it in the center, but I think if a car has the right design and the right paint scheme, it actually can look better pushed forward. But um, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. I don't really care that much about it. Um, so... I know that's been a point that some people, a very small point that some people have not so much liked about the styling of the next gen, but I think the actual body of uh, each manufacturer looks really good in my opinion. To me, it looks more like the actual Camaro, the actual Mustang, the actual Camry. Um, with some of the previous gens, they all kind of looked the same, the same little box or whatever. So I, I like that. Um, another good thing about the next gen, the mile and a half racing has been a very, very, very good in my opinion. Um, for example, the last two Coca-Cola 600s, I have found a great, and I, like I said, in general, most of the mile and a half racing has been great, which the previous gen uh, car struggled at. Um, so I do find that good. A couple bad points, uh, to continue on with the mile and a half reason, they kind of hurt the short track, uh, road course and inter or, uh, super speed way racing it in my opinion. So back in the day, a lot of the races were mile and a half. So having a car that raced and put on good races at a mile and a half was really need it but these days we have even more road courses and we're getting a few more short tracks so we need to find a way to get that racing good as well um and then honestly i think the race the car will be pretty good uh there's a few ways they can do that in my opinion i'm sure i'm i'm not an engineer but the arrow, obviously, it almost seems like the car is planted too much on especially the road courses on short tracks that you pretty much have to slam someone to pass them. Um, the car is stuck to the ground too much. And uh, especially another thing at short tracks is shift in. So if you put the power up, in my opinion, it would help everything. And there's also been talk of uh, maybe a different type of tire to help. Uh, maybe getting rid of the big diffuser in the back. I don't know. I'll leave that to the experts, but I just know the uh, short track, road course, and super speedway racing can be or needs to be a little bit better in my opinion, but the mile and a half is very good. Uh, another, I won't say bad, but questionable part of the next gen a year and a half into it is the safety. Um, of course, we've seen a fair amount of concussions, uh, notably Kurt Busch, um, Noah Gregson, and there's been countless others that have happened during the next gen, mostly to uh, when the car hits in the back. Uh, during the off season, they try to um, make it so it crushes more and so there's more energy being absorbed. I think they've done a good job. Obviously, I think safety is very important. The last gen car was extremely safe. So I'm kind of concerned that this one's not as safe. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very safe car. 
but um, safety is very important. So I hope they continue to push forward and bring new parts and stuff to keep the drivers safe. That being said, I do think um, previous gens drivers did suffer more, or I'd say a, a good amount of concussions as well. It was just not really, unfortunately, thought of or cared about. Um, so I do think it's good that the drivers are taking stand and actually uh, mindful of when they're concussed or when they might be concussed and to uh, sit out to better help their future. Uh, so I do commend uh, all the drivers on that. Uh, so overall, I think the next gen car has been good for NASCAR. As always, there's always going to be room for improvement. But I think we should also focus on the good things as well. Um, I'd be very curious to know your guys' opinions. Please let me know in the comments if you would like uh, what you think about the next gen, what you think should be changed, what you think should stay the same. And uh, yeah, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video and I'll uh, talk to you guys next time.